Lives Matter activists rallying outside the police services board meeting where public deputations are being given on the future of the force's controversial school resource officer program. Frustrations reached a boiling point after so many people showed up that an overflow area had to be set up outside, keeping many people from being able to get into the meeting room itself. Now I can tell you the scene outside here is much quieter than it was earlier this afternoon when the police board meeting happened. That's because most of them are inside the meeting right now. Now the public was invited to share their input on the program that puts cops inside of schools after a motion was moved last month to consider suspending the school resource officer program and it's a heated debate. It's eliciting uh, some some emotional emotional uh, statements from both opponents and supporters of the program. Uh, we've had instances of people reporting to us how uh, students are interacting with police in, in a way that is, or how police are interacting with students in a way that is dangerous for those students, where they feel unsafe, they feel scared coming to school. I'm not convinced that uh, the people at, at hand that have, have brought this to the table are, are acting in, in good faith. I think uh, they don't know have the pulse of the community at all. Um, uh, and, and I think that uh, uh, I would categorize them as, as, as bad as some of the gangs that are out there already. There's other students who have told me that they feel intimidated and they feel like they're unable to express themselves. And when I asked if they'd like to complain, they said, no, I don't want to complain because I'm in fear for my safety. Mayor John Tory has urged the board not to make a decision about removing school resource officers until after a review of the program is completed. Now, whether the board decides to keep the program or get rid of it, it is clear that the people who will be impacted the most are students, and there are almost 80 speakers scheduled to, uh, to speak here today, and many of them are students. Earlier today, I spoke with two of the students who say they hope the program stays. Today, we came to send a message that over our experiences in high school, the police have been a positive impact on our lives and have helped us see that there is so much more than the stereotypes that we've been uh, introduced to due to the areas that we come from. We've had an officer that was out of school last year and he's actually, he's not with us anymore, but I still do call him on weekends or after school whenever I do need his help and he's always there for me, hence why I'm here right now because I feel like he's always been there for me so it's time I return the favor. Now, we're learning today a decision on this issue may not be coming anytime soon. We're learning that a motion is expected to be presented here later today, asking that a decision on the SRO program be deferred until December, until the board steering committee uh, does conduct a full review.